Welcome to my temporary art studio. So we're in the process of moving and we are now in an Airbnb. So I am set up in a dining room. The thing about this room is it's neutral, it has great light, it has a nice work surface, and I love the floor. Of course I'm using drop cloths since this is not my space, but let me show you how I'm using it and how I set up a studio on the go. First of all, it was important to me to bring a lot of my goodies along, my antique art boxes and things that I enjoy that will make this space feel like my space. My easel that I'm using for travel as well as for plein air painting is by Edge Pro. And I'm gonna do a full review on it later, but that is what I'm using. It has a glass mixing surface and it has magnetic holders for a panel. I even brought a marmalade crock to put my brushes in because why not? I brought some oyster shells that I could use as subjects. And again, just to have like some beautiful things around me that feel familiar. One thing I had to really think through was cleaning my brushes while I'm traveling, staying with family, staying in rentals. So I do this a lot at home, but I have a utility sink, so I'm doing it even more so when I'm traveling. I'm using baby wipes to clean off my hands, clean oil paint off of the handles of my brushes. I am putting all of the used baby wipes and paper towels in a Ziploc bag and then filling that bag with water to dispose of it. And then I'm making sure I get the brushes nice and clean using solvents before I wash them out using soap. This is the art library that I bought with me. And it's a mix of instruction books that I wanna read and practice from, and then also some books just for inspiration that either I love or that are newer books. And I'm also going to play with Silver Point while I'm traveling. So I got a book on Silver Point. I've got paintings drying everywhere, which is the downside to using oils. So I'm putting them on paper towels and then letting them dry on boxes and bins. These ones are almost completely dry. So I line them up on the window to gain a little bit more space. I am going out on a limb and playing with some abstracts, so I've got those out as well. So I can tell you I'm really missing storage because right now everything is in a bin, pretty much. And I've got bins that have everything from charcoal to thread to printing ink, oil sticks, and then of course all of my oil paints, finishes, acrylic paints. I didn't want to put those in a hot storage moving container. So I have them all with me. And um, so it's stuff I wanna use as well as stuff I want to store. I've got things for knitting and lots of sketchbooks. These are decorating books to look at and mark for just inspiration for what our next house might look like. Lots of pens and pencils. And then I've also got some things for fabric design. So these are some samples of fabrics that I have designed already, as well as some color swatches and things like that so I can work on lino cutting, printing, and pattern design. So in this little corner over here, I've got my technology. I use an iPad for doing digital drawings, and then I also have my camera and lenses my tripods, and then these are boxes that are used to carry wet panels, wet oil panels. So I have these as well for when I need to move wet panels along. So I think this bin is probably the funniest. It does have some practical things in it, like some sketch, you know, brush rolls and pencil rolls and stuff. But I also brought along most of my really nice fountain pens because this is like my jewelry. I've got to take my fountain pens with me and I did keep some ink, but some of these things are just because I didn't want to pack them. 
like this is a sterling silver brush wipe. Brought some old papers and letters because I don't know, you never know. I might need these, right? <laughs> and then a whole bunch of silver brass, sterling silver pencils and dip pens. Cause again, I just could not bear to pack them. I got to the point where I just started throwing things in here. Like, I don't know, I might want that. <laughs> so I've got a whole buffet to create with and lots of artist tape. This is another box that's maybe a little bit impractical, but this is uh, antique sketchbooks that I purchased. I still need to share those on here and more detail on my blog, but I didn't wanna pack these. And also some antique books. And I didn't pack these because I thought they'd be fun to scan and maybe do something with. Oh, I have that. I did bring this French box easel as well. I actually have some oil so I can, um, on a nice day, go outside and oil it up and, um, and also use it while I'm traveling. So as you can see, I have set myself up nicely to be able to create until we end up in a new home.